Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a leaf petal pattern. First set the fill to none and bring the stroke to the front. Next select the polygon tool and draw a hexagon. Using the selection tool hover your cursor over this corner and drag to rotate it by 90 degrees. Next we'll create guidelines. Activate the pen tool and draw a straight vertical line along this side. Create a copy and make sure it crosses the center. Select both lines, double click the blend tool, set the spacing to specified steps and leave the value at 8, then click OK. Now click on the first line, then click on the second line to apply the blend. Let's lock the blend. Either press the Ctrl and two keys on your keyboard, or open the Layers panel and lock it there. Activate the Pen tool and draw a line from this anchor point to this one. And another line from this anchor point to this one. Let's lock these two lines as well. Next, swap the fill and the stroke, bring the fill to the front and change its color. Press the letter M to activate the rectangle tool, then draw a rectangle that fits between these lines. Next, select the shear tool, double click on it to open a dialog box. Set the axis to vertical and the shear angle to 45 degrees. Click OK. Using the direct selection tool, select this anchor point and this one. Now click on one of the round corner widgets and drag to round the corners. Let's move this shape up a little and create a copy that fits between these lines. Select both shapes and then press the letter R to activate the Rotate tool. While holding down the ALT key, click in the center to set the rotation point. Set the angle to 120 degrees and then click Copy. Press Ctrl D to repeat the last step. Let's hide the guidelines. Select everything and activate the Rotate tool. Hold down ALT and click this anchor point to set the rotation point. Leave the angle value as it is, then click Copy. Now press Ctrl D to repeat the last step. Select the top hexagon, including the shapes inside it, and create a copy. Next, press the letter O to activate the Reflect tool, then press Enter. Change the axis to Horizontal, then click OK. Select all these petals and the hexagon, except for the top two petals. Now delete them. Select these two shapes, activate the Rotate tool and rotate them around this intersection. Leave the angle as it is, then click Copy. Now repeat the last step. Select this hexagon, including the shapes inside it, and reflect it horizontally. Now select all black hexagons and delete them. Next, select everything, open the swatches window and drag this design here. We can delete all of this. Now draw any shape that you like. Double click the new pattern swatch to open the pattern options window. Change the tile type to brick by row. Be sure the maintain width and height proportions chain link is disabled. Now highlight the value in the width field and adjust it using the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard. 
and repeat this with the height value as well. Click outside the artboard to exit pattern editing mode. To make any changes to the pattern, double click on the swatch, select everything and let's change the color to grey. Now select some of the petals and apply a different shade. And again. To change the size of the pattern, first select it. Now press the letter S to activate the scale tool. Press Enter. Be sure Transform Objects option is unchecked. Highlight the value in the Uniform field and adjust it to your preference. To apply color, go to Recolor Artwork in the tab bar, select Edit and adjust the sliders. Thanks for watching, bye bye.